Okay, first official YouTube video. And I don't know if I can have music in my videos. Like, is that copyright? I'll just put it really low, so hopefully you guys can't hear it. Um, hey, what's up? How are you guys doing? The background is so bright, oh my gosh. I'm not really sure how YouTube works, so this is gonna be a journey that we're going to experience together, I hope, if you stick around, which hopefully you will. Um, but I thought I'd do a get ready with me and get to know me because I feel like that's like the first video you should do. I want you guys to know me a little bit. I've done this on TikTok before, but I thought I want to do like a fresh little video for YouTube. Let's um, get started. I'm gonna start with my skincare. I already applied my CosRx Snail Mucin Essence. This is probably like my fourth bottle. I love it so much. Um, it's just so good. Now we're gonna move on and do my acne cream. Okay, let's pull up the first question. Name, age, and occupation. My name is Malika Kamali. There's only one I at the end, but um, the username that I wanted on both TikTok and Instagram were already taken with like the one I at the end of Kamali. So there's two I's in my username, but that's not actually how my name is spelled. I am 20 turning 21 next month and my occupation i am a full-time university student i'm in my fourth year i'm doing a major in criminology with a double minor in political science and diaspora studies also i am a like full-time content creator i would say um i try to make content every single day um, mostly on my tiktok instagram i have to work on but yeah so my birthday is on December 22nd. I was born in 2001 um, and I have a Capricorn Sun, a Pisces Moon, and a Sagittarius Rising. If that is important to you, please dissect in the comments. Um, I personally have tried to understand what that means, but like it just, I keep forgetting what it means. So yeah. Let's move on to languages. I can speak, I would say like two, okay, let's dissect this a little. I obviously can speak English. Um, my family is from Iran and I can speak like Farsi pretty, I would say pretty well, um, like well enough to have a conversation, I would say. Um, but like if someone starts speaking really really fast or like says words that I, I don't understand I won't be able to continue the conversation so like I'm I would say I'm okay um, I also took French like for I've been taking French I think since grade four until like my first year of university um, and I still can't have a conversation in French so if that doesn't tell you about the Canadian education system then I don't know what will also I just noticed my bed is like looking like a mess. I'm currently washing my sheets, so pretend like that is not there. I have lived in Ontario, Canada my entire life. I have lived in the same house my entire life. I've lived here my whole life and I love where I live. I, I really like my house. I like the memories that it has and I am not really planning on moving anytime soon just because, you know, I need to get a job that like pays me well enough that I can move out um, but yeah that's like where I've lived my whole life and currently am living all right next question my dream place to travel like I want to go all over the world obviously like everyone else um, I think traveling is honestly the coolest thing you could possibly do I traveled solo for the first time this past summer. I went to Lisbon, Portugal. I stayed in a hostel. I made so many friends um, from all around the world and I just, I had so much fun. So I would definitely travel solo again. Um, I'm going to Paris, London, Manchester, and Edinburgh next month actually. Um, so I'm very excited for that. I have I would say Paris is probably like my dream place to travel. I know people romanticize it a lot but since I was like three years old, I have been telling my mom that I want to go to Paris. Like, I just, I know it's like obviously romanticized and everything, but it's literally been like a dream of mine since I was young. Um, so like, this is really exciting for me. Let's say like another place is 
Greece. Finally, when they were immigrating to Canada, they actually lived in Athens for I think like a year. Um, so yeah, I, I really want to go to Greece. It has like a lot of, I think, memories for my family, although I wasn't there when they immigrated, obviously. Um, but yeah, I, I would love to go. There's something about Mediterranean food that just like really does it for me, like the rice and the chicken and like the lamb and mm, the flavors are so good. Speaking of my family, um, I have a pretty big family, I would say. I have three siblings, four including me. Um, I have two older sisters who are a lot older than me. They're like basically my mom's um, because we're just like really far apart in age. And I have a younger brother who is very close in age to me actually. My two sisters are very close in age and me and my brother are very close in age. I love having siblings like I just think it's so cool that like your siblings are your friends like they can never leave you basically unless you do something bad but like other than that also i love dogs so much i think they're so cute so fun so playful but i am a cat person i just feel like i resonate more with cats like you know i like my alone time cats like their alone time and then sometimes we can like hang out and cats are just like so chill for the most part i know there's some cats that are not um but yeah the experience i've had with cats is like they're pretty chill. Most of the ones that I met are like mean, but you know, like it's fine. It's like a love-hate relationship kind of thing. Okay, this one is a very important question. Favorite TV show? I can't say I have like one. I feel like I have a few. So I would say Gilmore Girls is definitely part of like my favorite TV shows. If you haven't seen Gilmore Girls, what could you possibly be doing with your life? Like it is so good. It is the, like, comfort show. That's, like, all I have to say. It's it's just, like, the most comforting show to watch. And it's just so wholesome. And, like, I've rewatched it already for the second time. I started rewatching it for the third time. It just doesn't get old. I also love Friends. Um, I know a lot of people like to hate on Friends, but Friends is a really good show, okay? I also really like New Girl. It's so funny, and again, the cast is great. I think everyone was casted perfectly for that show. Um, also a comfort show of mine. The OC, I like pretty old, like older shows for the most part, like Gilmore Girls, The OC, Gossip Girl, um, One True Hill, like those shows are so good, and I just feel like production companies don't make shows like that anymore. Next question is favorite movie. That's a hard one because I feel like I'm more of a TV person. For some reason, I can sit through 40 minute TV shows, but I can't sit through a movie. One of my like comfort movies is Little Women. I love that movie so fucking much. Like, mm, the way that it makes me feel and makes me cry is like honestly not okay. Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, such a classic movie. It's so good. My camera stopped recording as I was saying my favorite musicians, which is kind of rude, I won't lie. But we will keep going. Harry Styles, Taylor Swift are my favorite musicians of all time. Pretty basic answers, but I love, I love them. I only, I feel like I became a Harry Stan like a year and a half ago. Like I started listening to Fine Line um, and that's when I really started to like Harry. Taylor, I feel like I became a fan also a year ago. Um, Folklore is really what got me into Taylor. Um, obviously, I liked her like older albums too. Like I like the more popular songs, but once I listened to Folklore, I started listening to like all the songs in every album, and realized how good they are. What do I like to do in my free time? I don't do much in my free time besides like make content, um, because when I'm not making content, I'm studying. When I'm not studying, I'm making content. I like to read. I love, I only started getting into reading like when book talk kind of became a thing. Um, but like now I just kind of read for fun. I read on my commute to school, which is like my favorite time to read because I feel like I can't read at home. I'm just too distracted by like every other thing that's going on. But like my commute is like my safe space. It's my time to just like read and just enjoy myself. So love watching like or rewatching comfort shows, comfort movies, 
Um, I love, I like baking a lot. I'm not good at it, I would say, but I do really like it. You, know, you can't always do things that you're good at. Sometimes you just gotta continue doing things that you're not good at, and then you will be good. Next question is last read and current read. The last book that I read is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. If you're on Book Talk, obviously you know that book. I like the plot or like I thought it was like a pretty it was like a good plot and I really like that it was based on her mom like that really really touched my heart but I will say the writing is like pretty cringy also the letters to Ellen really like threw me off and I thought that they were interesting kind of weird current read is I'm reading two books at the moment I'm reading conversations on love by natasha lunn i believe that's her name i don't have the book on me and i'm also reading it starts with us which is the sequel to it ends with us okay the next question is favorite season i feel like this one's a tough one okay i love fall i like fall activities i just feel like they're so like gilmore girlsy you know and i love the leaves changing color i like pumpkin spice i, I like all those things but I was born in December. I love th the holidays, especially. I love Christmas. Um, I love my birthday, obviously. But yeah, I feel like fall is probably my favorite season just because I feel like the activities are more like fun and cute. But like winter is also such a great season. It's like runner up. Favorite holiday, because fall is my favorite season, People would assume that Halloween is my favorite holiday, but it's actually not. I feel like Halloween, like, I don't know. I like dressing up. It's just like I never go out on Halloween, so like I never have plans to actually dress up for, so I just don't end up dressing up. Um, so yeah, Halloween's kind of like a, a lonely time. But yeah, Christmas is definitely my favorite holiday. I just love, like, it's like an introvert holiday, you know? like. You just stay at home, you don't have to like worry about making plans and getting FOMO from like everyone else going out and making plans, you know? Like that's usually how I feel on Halloween, I get like FOMO. But on Christmas, like I don't because you're just with your family, you're chilling, you're watching movies. It's like a very comforting holiday. Next question is introvert or extrovert? Now, I personally feel like i'm an introvert i feel like when i hang out with a lot of people they always say that like i'm very like outgoing and i like i'm not shy when i hang out with new people like i talk a lot and like but i personally get so much anxiety when i'm like hanging out with new people and like i try to talk a lot so that the conversation doesn't get awkward because when it's awkward that's when my social anxiety kicks in um so yeah but i love being alone. I love hanging out alone. I love my alone time. I like going out alone, going thrifting alone. Being on the like TTC, I like doing it alone because I can read my book. Um, going to coffee shops alone, even going to get dinner alone. Like I like being by myself. That's not to say I don't like being with people. Um, I love hanging out with my friends, like my really close friends and my boyfriend and my family. I just... I, I really appreciate my alone time and I would rather be alone than go out. This is a finished makeup look and I hope you guys got to know me a little bit better. Um, let me know if you want me to do a Q&A where you guys can ask me more specific questions and then I will answer those. Um, so yeah, this has been fun. Bye and hopefully I can get this posted by the beginning of next week. Bye!